The warm-up has been done hundreds of times before, but never for a race like this. Sabrina Wanjiku Simade is Kenya's first professional alpine skier, now challenging a field of Austrians, Americans and Swiss at the Youth Olympic Games in Norway. The biggest moment of the 17-year-old's career coming in the Super G competition. A world away from the champion marathon runners whose endurance over distance has put Kenyan sport on the map. The moment is gone in a 90 km an hour flash. Simada was born in uplands outside Nairobi, but at the age of three moved to Austria, where her stepfather <laughs> ran a ski lift. 14 years later, she's a unique sporting star in East Africa. Yeah, they are all really uh, excited because they never seen a Kenyan girl skiing. Uh, I'm the only one in Kenya. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling to stand on the start and I hope to make a good performance and not just because I'm uh, from Kenya, I want to ski really good and to make my best, yeah. Simada got top half finishes in her first races in Lillehammer but is already setting her sights much higher. In two years' time, Samada could become the first Kenyan woman to compete at the senior Winter Games. That would be exactly 20 years since the country's only previous Winter Olympian first strapped on his skis at Nagano, Japan in 1998. Philip Kameli Boit now trains skiers in Kenya with roller skates due to the lack of snow. His first Olympics saw him finish a cross-country race in last. But he says Simada is different. When I started it, I started at 21 years old. But you can imagine now, Sabrina, she was lucky that she started at three years old. I am seeing a medal coming. Even if we missed it in 2018 because it is too close, I don't see why in 2022 we don't get a medal. Things looking up for Kenyan skiing two decades after Boit broke the mould as an amateur. An even brighter future now rests with the talent of one woman. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Lilyhammer.